Hey guys, so in this Create a Sim video, we are going to be learning about the royal family of Glimmerbrook. So I'm so excited to do this for you guys and you guys can see how I've made them and Create a Sim and everything too. So with them, so I mentioned in episode 100 of the royal family that they are actually, the, the natives called their kingdom Guanxi. I'm sorry, my Mandarin is so bad. So please excuse me if I am mispronouncing this. Um, so the actual translation of Glimmerbrook or Shimmering Creek, which is basically the same thing, um, is actually, uh, it's sorry, it's Wei Guan Zhao Shi. Wei, so yeah, Wei Guan Zhao Shi. So I'll put that here on the video so you guys can see. Um, so I just kind of took Guan Chi from that so I can have that like as their last name just because I thought the whole wor words were just really long. So I figured I wouldn't do that, but I figured I would have like two ways just to make me feel like it's more realistic because I kind of liked it like this a little bit better because I wasn't originally thinking of having them be the royal family of Glimmerbrook. I didn't actually decide that until I saw the announcement for Realm of Magic, which only came out like a month and, or a month and a half before the pack actually came out. I was originally going to have them be the royal family of Granite Falls because, I, well, luckily, like, the, the landscaping and the art of Glimmerbrook is the same as Granite Falls. It's actually very, very similar, except Gr Granite Falls is actually bigger, which I was really disappointed about. Um, but yeah, so I was, I, I just ended up changing it to Glimmerbrook just because I have to use the mod to make it livable in Granite Falls and I didn't want to risk getting any more glitches because my game is really starting to slow down, guys. You guys can't see it because I usually edit stuff out when I'm doing post editing, but it's just loading screens are longer, there's a lot more glitches and it's really disappointing. So I wanted to avoid that as much as possible. So hopefully it will be okay. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, okay. So this is Ember Zhao and you guys can see the outfits and everything. They're so, so cool. That one, oh God, okay, his ankles are missing in that one, but it's still really, really cool. So Emperor Zhao, so he is an adult. He's not a young adult, he's an adult. Also, please excuse just this pausing. I think I went to go do something in the middle of that. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep that crown either because technically what he has right now on his hair, that's what the ruler is like royalty would wear. So I wasn't sure about the other thing. I might actually make that the crown of, of Selva Dorada. I'm not 100% sure yet. I might do some changes, but we'll see. But so Ember Zhao, he is a, let's see. Yeah, he wants a successful lineage, which most kings in my game do. He's a perfectionist and he is family oriented and he's also ambitious. I might change him to paranoid because of just all the stuff happening with like the magical realm, which we will definitely get to learn in the magical realm series. But yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. I might end up changing it. I, th I think he can be paranoid and ambitious. It's just that the game only lets you pick three traits, so that's why. Um, but next I am making Empress Mei Lin, which is his wife and which is the mother of his three children. So Empress Mei Lin, sorry that I'm looking down to, I'm looking at my phone because I made a ton of notes. Um, but Empress Mei Lin, so she the, she's in an arranged marriage with Emperor Zhao. And originally Emperor Zhao, as you guys saw in episode 100 of the Royal Family, Emperor Zhao was originally engaged to Corinne's mother, Lily, when she was living there because her parents were very, like noble and prestigious people. So they had engaged them when they were very young, like kids and I think, yeah, like kids, I think they had been engaged. And and her mother, Lily, just decided like she did not want to be in a rich marriage. She wanted to be happy. She ended up falling in love with, falling in love with her father, Victor, with, with Corinne's father, Victor. And he was a commoner and her parents didn't approve and they still wanted her to marry the emperor or the future emperor. So she ended up running away. I think that the emperor was still really in love with her and he was just so upset and so heartbroken, but his parents were so strict about him being in arranged marriage with someone who had a good reputation. So like only shortly after that Lily had run away with Victor, they had engaged him to marry Mei Lin. So he never really got over Lily, but with Mei Lin, he, they, they don't really love each other. They kind of respect each other, but Mei Lin is, she's a, you guys will see too, she's a Renaissance sim. So she just wants to learn everything. She's a huge questioner. She wants to learn everything. Also that outfit Outfit right there is actually a Vietnamese inspired. I think everything else pretty much is uh, Chinese inspired. I do have some kimono, so like Japanese inspired, and then I have some Korean inspired outfits as well. But for like the royal sims, the ones that looked just really fancy and, and really pretty just happened to be the Chinese ones. So, and I also am more familiar with Chinese culture because I'm half Chinese. I'm a, I'm a quarter Japanese. So I'm a little bit familiar with Japanese culture, but not as much. And my mother speaks like fluent Mandarin, but 
I didn't learn it well enough when I was a child. I went to Chinese school when I was like four, but I would not stay in, in school. I did not want to be there. So I know a little bit, but not a lot. So I, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay. So Mei Lin, so she just wants to like learn a lot. And lately she's kind of been pushing her husband to include her in more of the politics of their kingdom because she knows about the magical realm too, but there's still a lot of things that Emperor Zhao is hiding from her. So it's kind of a, a big thing. Also guys, the custom content here. So I didn't put it on my Pinterest board because I didn't want you guys to find out that I was doing a royal family, like a Asian inspired royal family and an African inspired royal family. So I didn't put it on my Pinterest board. I actually put it on my Tumblr and I hadn't told anyone about, about my Tumblr yet, but actually I think a good amount of people did find it still. But I will work on putting this custom content and the custom content I use for Selva Dorada. I will work on putting that on my Pinterest board because I know most people follow my Pinterest board and get their custom content from there. But for, yeah, cause I can't really organize Tumblr, but I can organize Pinterest and I understand Pinterest better than I do Tumblr. But for Tumblr, that's actually where I'm planning on putting the character descriptions, which should be out in a few weeks and should be done in a few weeks. It might not be complete, but I'll still post it when I come out with the first episode of season two for the Royal Family, because I want that to be there so you guys can see, because there's just so many characters at this point. Um, so I will put that there. My Tumblr, I'm pretty sure it's Mirror Ray blog. I'll put it in the description below so you guys can see, but I think that's my Tumblr name. Um, but yeah, if you guys do, don't want to wait for me to take the time to put it on my Pinterest board, then you can just follow my Tumblr and find most of the items from there. Also, I think it's Lana CC Find. She groups her custom content, and this is how I found most of it, but she groups the custom content and like a lot of, like she has one section divided by culture. So I found most of it from there. So if you guys want something more organized and want more, you guys can check there because I didn't reblog like everything in her tag for that. So yeah, you guys will be able to see it there. That outfit is gorgeous. It's actually supposed to be a wedding dress, but I just thought it was the most beautiful thing. And I thought she should wear that as an empress because I don't think I had anything else as fancy that was still like kind of the Asian inspired culture. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for the wedding dress now. I I'll find something I'm sure, but it's just so beautiful. So now it's like the formal outfit of the Empress and probably will be for every Empress. The only thing is it only comes in that one color. So like every Empress would be wearing the same dress. Hopefully I can find something different or yeah, hopefully th there's just really not that much Asian custom content out there. So it's just hard guys, it's it's difficult. I had to do what I could work with. So, I mean, this one was really cool, but this is almost like a, like a fantasy sort of thing. And I didn't think, I don't know, it, it showed like a lot of shoulder, which doesn't typically happen, but I mean, it's a game, it's fine. I'm okay with that. So uh, that hairstyle was actually really cool. A lot of the Asian hairstyles were alpha, alpha, that's what they're called, right? Alpha and not so much Maxis Match, but this one was kind of, is that Max? I don't actually know if that's Maxis Match, um, but I thought that was really perfect and it was kind of acting as like a crown. I did put a crown for her formal outfit and I think I might just change it to her hair that she had because the crown, it, it actually, oh shoot, I forgot their name, but it's someone who comes out with a lot of crowns. It's not Bats, Bats from Westeros, it's a different, person. I only get my crowns from like two people really. Um, and Bats of Westeros is one of them. I forgot the other person's name. So I'll have to double check, but they have a lot of like pageant crowns. And I think that one was like, an, like supposed to be like a Chinese inspired one. They have like a Thailand inspired one, which is really cool. So I just love those and they're really cool. I think I might have posted them on my Pinterest board. So you guys can definitely check that out. Also guys, I just want to clarify that I am not stopping the Royal Family series because I think some people thought that when they first saw the episode 100 because I put season finale and then I changed it to season one finale because I didn't want you guys to think that. I'm making a season two because there's a hundred episodes of the Royal Family. And when I first started this, it was like, I didn't really know how to edit and I wasn't as comfortable talking on the camera. So it's kind of awkward. And then the next few episodes, because I turned on custom content got really laggy. And I felt like I lost a lot of people from that because it, it was really, really bad. Like the lagginess was so bad. So that's why I wanted to make a season two because I want it to be like introducing all the characters again and also having the character description. So that way people can watch like just season two if they want to and they don't have to watch all 100 episodes if they're if they're new and only starting. So like they can watch all 100 of the first season if they want to, but I don't want them to have to. Like I would like this to be like a like a new intro thing so that way it would like catch the attention of, of other people who don't know about my channel and then maybe they will just like if they want to they can only watch season two and not feel pressured about just watching season one and then also it will just be like much 
better editing and much better speaking and it won't be as awkward and I'll have my face cam for like more like the entire series and not just like the first half of the series so or the second half of the series um so yeah that's why I'm making a season two in case you guys were wondering why but I just thought it was it was fitting it was kind of like a tv show so I thought that was really cool um but anyway okay so this right here is Araminta so this is their heir and she's actually a twin so I'm making her twin sister next Araminta is not an Asian inspired name it's actually from uh it's a character from the Crazy Rich Asians movie and it's actually like a very rare name because it's a combination of two European names I think but it's just I thought it was very fitting and I I would like their kingdom to still I mean like Lily Corinne's mother Lily that was her original name and then Victor her father that was her original his original name too so I would I don't want to just like confine it like I would still like them to kind of be combined with like other cultures and then maybe be like Winnenberg can learn things from like this kingdom and like other kingdoms like Salvadorada and all that as well so that's just why I did that and also it's just such a cool name so I love it a lot I didn't put princess in front of it yet because just for here I didn't want to shorten their names when I was like introducing them to you guys but when I actually play them I'll like put the mod and put like princess Araminta because it's still princess and prince even though like their father and mother is emperor and empress but they're she's still a princess so they I, yeah I'll change that when I go into live mode so for Araminta she is super sweet she is just very strong she's a quick learner she loves just like like her mother like she just loves learning things and she's just really like ready to be the ruler of the kingdom like this is what her father has been training her for so that's her Minda. she's really cool so she's a child um and then she has a twin sister and her twin sister's name is Anya so Anya is the opposite of Araminta. They're twins and Anya is actually very mean. She's extremely jealous and she's like probably on the verge of being very evil because, and I actually, oh, I forgot I did this. I, yeah, I fixed something when I, when I went to the teenager because it's like easier to see what they're going to look like when they're a teenager. Um, but with Anya, I just, I, so she's a twin and she's the younger twin. She's only younger by a few minutes, which I feel like is where most of her jealousy comes from is because she missed being the heir to the throne because she's younger by like a few minutes. Like that has been driving her crazy, like her whole life. So she's just extremely jealous. She, her and her sister are like arch enemies. Like they hate each other, mostly just because like, like uh, Araminta is really kind. And I actually went back to Araminta to fix some th of her outfit stuff. But Araminta is really kind, but her sister Anya is so mean. So they've just learned to hate each other. They don't like each other at all. So yeah, that's with them. And I'm, I'm really excited for like the stories we can make of that because I very rarely have like a mean or evil royal. I know it'd be more interesting if I had more, but I just don't, I don't know why. Um, but this is their younger brother. This is Takashi. Um, his name is actually Japanese inspired but it is, just, I thought, oh gosh, he's so cute. Look at the little bowl cut, it's so adorable. So as a younger brother, I mean, I feel like he's kind of gonna be almost like Prince Kellen where he stays kind of under the radar because he's like the youngest, like they probably won't, he probably won't have much attention being paid to him. So that's pretty much the video, but I, I will put some screenshots so you guys can see the entire royal family too. But yeah, so Takashi, he's probably just gonna stay under the radar just because like his sisters are probably getting most of the attention. I feel like Anya is probably gonna end up being some sort of like, I don't know, something with attention. Like she'll probably end up trying to be like an actress or a supermodel or something. But I, I really think her, her main goal is she still wants some way to become like the ruler of the kingdom like I think she's gonna try to prove to her father that she's smarter that she's better than her sister which she's not really like they're probably equal in in like brain smarts some brain activity intelligence that's it intelligence yeah it's just gonna be interesting I'm really excited for the stories of this too so we will get to learn more about this royal family like in season two and I just I want to know your thoughts on them too in the comments below definitely let me know what you think and I'm just so excited you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll be posting the royal family of Silva Dorada video in the next few days so you guys can see that but I hope you guys enjoyed this give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!